Right, and Katie, things are looking pretty good for us today. They're looking good. You know, we've certainly started out with a few pop-up showers. You're seeing the camera there pan across the river and show you downtown a little cloudy. But here's the deal. It's not a washout type of situation. We have got some pop-ups that are coming in. I know I woke up in Avondale to some pop-ups myself, but uh, the coast is clear for now, which is wonderful. We've got surf competitions happening at Jack's Beach for the girls, and a uh, shower could be coming in toward Fernadina Beach soon. Some showers up toward Brunswick, Wake Cross, and uh, Callahan. But overall, it's, it's just cloudy. So all these showers that came through Jacksonville, the Nocatee area, they've moved through. And uh, we're continuing to see things clear out, which is wonderful. So continuing to watch this, let's take a look now at World Golf Village. A little cloudy there as well, but don't worry. The sun will be out those clouds. I think this afternoon you've got a pretty good day to tee off if you want to. You may want to take the rain jacket just to be safe because, I mean, look at Jack's Beach. It couldn't look better if it tried. These waves are breaking perfect for these girls that are going to get in the water and enjoy themselves. And then you look at 501 Riverside, and yes, it's still cloudy there as well. We saw a few showers, but uh, they move in, they move out, they move quick, but you got to know they do move in. So as they move in, it's something worth watching. Into tonight, we get showers from the other direction, coming in from the west, moving east, and uh, that'll certainly impact areas like Georgia into tomorrow morning, which I'll be tracking as we're on the air throughout the day. So as we get into Tuesday, things look a lot better, and I'll tell you this much, the week is going to look good. Anything we get rain-wise is a trace, but guess what's coming back? The 70s details coming up.